Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Today, I just wanted to tell you about uh, editor model events in Umbraco. Basically, allows you to manipulate the model that's just about to go to the editor in the back office. So when you're editing a page or anything like that, basically editing the content of a particular doc type. Um, could it be a blog post or uh, just a content page or anything like that? You're in there, you are in the page, and let's say you're on like the home page. It's referring to uh, editor model events. So as this is getting presented to the uh, to the interface, that model can be manipulated, and it allows us to do things like add uh, like add default values. So I've been playing with that recently, and uh, let me just show you exactly what I mean. So I, I did a teaser video last night on Twitter, but basically you can, I've done it now so that I can do a, create a blog post, and it will pull through the last image that was added to the media section. Now that's quite handy, especially for my blog, because usually I just do a new image per blog post. Um, and so if I know that I just put the image in first, when I create a new blog post, um, it can automatically set that value there. Uh, also, I pick an author, so it would be quite handy to choose the author from the multi-content uh, tree. Automatically, I can default it to be myself. And another one as well is the actual article date. Uh, when I do my blog posts, I need to um, set the article date, so it would be really handy to have that automatically filled in, like I've done it on here. So let me show you how I do that. So in the blog post, first of all, um, I was told about this by Mark Goodson. Um, I'm working with him, uh, Mori Armour now, because I've got a new job, and I'm um, learning loads while I'm there. And this is one of the like hidden gems that not many people know about. He did do documentation for it. So he wrote a documentation page to show you how you can do it. And it's got all different events here. And the one that we're doing is the sending content model. So we're overriding the sending content content model event to uh, manipulate the, the uh, values in the model. So what I've done in here is you can basically copy and paste this code, and maybe change your namespaces. But this um, I've created some methods here for setting the default value. And there's another one for set the default node name value. So I had... Um, a reason to do this actually um, where I wanted to set a node name to be a random GUID value so that people can't guess that name so I was able to do that let me show you how I did that uh, so where we have this here we've got set node name value journal entry so this one has got it so that it is um, setting it to a date and time but maybe we want to do it so let me show you that working actually so if we go to content and then if we go to i don't think we've actually got journal entry i can change that to be blog post so if i change this alias to be blog post give it a build then anytime i try to create a new blog post not only will it set the article date to be date time dot now dot date and it will set the image to be whatever the last image was it will also now uh, set the name of that blog post to be um, the current date in that format. So let's have a look. So now if I go to create blog post, because I've done a rebuild, it will just be a little bit slower. So just have to wait a sec. But yeah, there we go. We've got a blog post and it's already filled in the name. We've got the date and we've got that last image. Um, so I think it's really uh, it's really useful that is. Uh, let's have a look and what else we can get it to do. Um, well, if I show you first of all the get last image, show you get last image. So I'm using um, examine to search for images and then pull out the last one and then I basically take the key of that item and I uh, put it into this here, and that is the, um, the UDI. I think that's what it's called, the UDI. So that's basically, I'll set the value of that property to be this, and that will essentially tell the media picker to point to that image. And that's how I did the get last image. So I will update the blog post to have this get last image as well. 
um, just so that you've got that as an example. I'm thinking of doing a, uh, a package of some sort where you can configure this, whether it's in the config or whether it will be um, something with a user interface. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much fun or excitement I'll get out of doing this, but if I, if I do keep finding things to do with it, I might just create a package and then it'd be quite useful for other people to use. But yeah, feel free to take that from my blog post. Uh, yeah, take the code from there. Um, yeah, so let's see if we can change something then. So um, one thing that is new about categories, so this tags. So a lot of the time I write blog posts and they're about Umbraco. So let me just do this. I was going to show you this. So Umbraco, um, tutorial maybe um, how to so let's say I want that to be default tags on every blog post I want to always have that and I can remove them easily but it's nice that they're already written in maybe I want Paul seal or something like that so let me save and publish this oh I just need to fix the error there so let me save and publish this I'll show you what we can do excerpt sorry Right, I've saved and published it. What I want to do is just get the ID of this and then go to examine, examine management. So I've gone to the developer tab, examine management, internal searcher, search tools, Lucene search. I've entered the ID of the item that I'm interested in. And what I want to get is this tags value. Uh, so what is this? Node name Tuesday October. Oh, it doesn't seem to have saved the keywords. That's interesting that they've not saved. Let me just go back into that. So we go back into the content blog. Tuesday October 16. So it must have saved somehow because it, it, they are there. So oh, unless it was down as keywords and I've got it as categories, I'm looking at the wrong value. So if we go back to this, and this is just showing you how you can easily see the raw values of what's been um, saved for that item. So I need to look for categories. There it is. Oh, actually, so it is storing it as um, comma separated rather than um, JSON separated well, JSON values, because uh, I know it changed recently and I had to fix that on the starter kit that I did. But that's okay. If, it, if it's storing it like that, that's even easier. So what I can do is I can just go on to here and I can say um, set default value. E is just the event args that we're using. Um, we want blog post. And then... The property alias, I think I can find it anyway, is on here. It's just categories or lowercase. And then the value, I want it to be a string that is that. So now every time, oh, and I've done it with this. It might look strange why it's got an array, but basically it is so that I can apply this to multiple doc types apply this same rule so it's quite handy to be able to do that so now whenever it comes across a blog post that is about to be edited it will set the categories field automatically to be that if it's not been set already and there's a check here to say if it's null so let me save and build that and then we'll have a quick look on the other end Right, so if I open a new tab, the content, and then I'll try and edit, edit a piece, um, create a new item, and you'll see that it will automatically fill it in for me. And you can imagine that if you have this configured, so say if you did have those as app settings, it would be quite useful. And we can even do that as well on this video. But yeah, straight away, we've already got Umbraco tutorial how to Paul Seal, 
and like say we've got the article date and now maybe I always write the article today but to happen tomorrow so I can set that value I can automatically set that um, for tomorrow's date so that's easy obviously I've got now date and then I can do dot um, add day so do now dot add days and then just do plus one and then just do it as date. Now I don't have to do date, but I like to just get that so it always saves it as midnight, even though this is just a date picker rather than a date time picker. Um, so we've got the date, we've got the name already set, we've got categories already set, we've got main image already set. Um, so actually I've, I have used that categories as a uh, as the keywords rather than the categories but, but it's fine it doesn't matter it's good for this demo so anyway i think i'll leave it at that but um that just gives you some ideas on how to do it um and what sort of things are possible and shows you how i managed to get the last image that was added so actually i didn't show you that in action so before i do finish this let's just show you that in action so if i was to add a new image Which one don't I have? Boat. So yeah, I've added a new image. So let's go back to blog, create a new blog post. Now the last image that was created is there. So that's good. So that proves it works. Anyway, I hope you like the video. If you do, please click on like, subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified um, when I've put a new video out, video out i think you click the bell or something like that and that will notify you um yeah thanks a lot and i'll see you on my next video thank you bye